Prairie Yogi Magazine, and we're here with Shiva Ray. Shiva Ray, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, would you be able to say hello to our Prairie Yogi community? Namaste. Wonderful to be with you in cyberspace. This is the world we live in now, the quantum world, where we can be here, but we can also be connected later. Awesome. Space. Yeah. So today's class was really beautiful. It was my Thank first you. class with you. Thank you. Um, and I loved your theme of beginning, middle, and end. Yes. That was really wonderful. So where, where did that come from? Well, it's, it's basically the definition of vinyasa is um, any cycle that really follows that complete arc and it, it is actually deep deep we could say in our biology and physics um, you know everything is wave motion and what is a wave it's something that has a beginning middle and end so I've been teaching vinyasa for over 20 years mm -hmm. and so it's always a challenge to to find out in kind of particularly in urban centers how to bring people into a natural rhythm. And Slow I feel, it down a bit. and also just that there is this connectedness that is what we are basically focusing on. You know, the meditative state is a state of rhythmic entrainment. Mm -hmm. um, when you're disconnected from a rhythm, it's, meditation's impossible. So it was a movement meditation, we ended in meditation, but you could see what happened in the collective movement is that we're kind of like birds that flock together or what you see in nature we're able to drop into that meditative state, that meditative state of flow. Yeah, I loved it. Um, one of our readers from back home, uh, we knew that we were going to be interviewing you, so okay. we put it out on Facebook um, to see if anyone had questions for okay, you. Okay. And one of them that st stood out to me was uh, something very fitting with that beginning, middle, and end uh, theme of today's class, which was, and her question for you was, um, you know, can you ever end yoga? Can you t totally encompass it and, and master it? I think one of the, the most important things to feel at any phase is that since yoga is a reflection, a process of contemplating through your own body, through your own experience, the very essence of nature, if what the quantum physicists are telling us is the same as what the, the yogic sages, the yoginis and yogis tell us, that we are living in an infinite space. Even when we pass, our cells are still dissolving. So it's, it's more like there's this end of, of cycles. And so yoga is that infinite ocean. And if you try and encompass it all, it's not possible, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's somehow being able to feel with your own experience, just even inside the wave of the breath, that there is this way of connecting to the infinite. And I think the infinite, for some people, may, that may sound like something cosmic, something that's not practical. Mm -hmm. But I think it's extremely practical for us to consider, like Buckminster Fuller, that we live on Spaceship Earth. Mm -hmm. It helps us dissolve these so many little barriers that we create and really helps us, I think, focus on you know, really the inter extraordinary intelligence that's in all of us. I love that. I think she'll be very happy with that answer. <laughs> um, and one last question yes. for you. Um, your language that you use during your classes, you use the words um, that bring up the ocean a lot, the yes. water, totally. Yes. Yes. And you're a California girl. I am. And but I'm so, also, like, I live in the canyon, so I, it's, it's, you know, it's all elements. I'm into the mountains, too. Okay. And so yeah. I noticed a water theme but today. But there was, because and of the whole vinyasa is a wave, so people can... Feel that when they think of a wave, because you can feel how it has those cycles. Cool. I love that. <laughs>